Throughout history, man has created remarkable architecture. But it wasn't until the birth of structural steel gave rise to the modern skyscraper when we were truly able to reach for the sky. No other man-made building has inspired, captivated, or achieved as much acclaim as the majestic structure in the middle of New York City. It is the world's greatest skyscraper, the Empire State Building. At 34th Street and 5th Avenue in New York City stands the world's greatest skyscraper. Yet there are dozens upon dozens of great skyscrapers in the world. So why the Empire State Building? Conceived at a time when New York was racing toward the sky, automotive and financial whiz John Jacob Raskip, along with four-time Governor Al Smith, had a dream to build the tallest building in the world. We are on the top of the 86th floor of the Empire State Building, the highest point in the world today that can be reached from a building designed, fashioned, built by the brain, the brawn, the ingenuity, and the muscle of mankind. The Empire State Building was immediately preceded by the old Waldorf Astoria Hotel, which was demolished in 1930 to make room for the world's greatest skyscraper. The building began its ascent during one of the world's worst economic tragedies, the Great Depression. However, the Depression proved to be a blessing in disguise for the Empire State Building. The blessing was that the builders were able to recruit the best group of skilled laborers ever to have worked on one building. This was because the construction industry was all but dormant during the dark years of the 1930s. To the credit of the builders, the Starrett brothers, many of those men have been immortalized on a plaque in the lobby, giving a gentle nod of acknowledgement to the great work of the tradespeople, who were forever captured in the images by the incomparable social photographer Lewis Hine. Never before or since has a building been so well documented in capturing its soul. Hines' exquisite pictures tell not only the story of its construction, but also the far greater feeling of the pride, the passion, and the dignity of the 6,500 workers who had a hand in its creation. One of the great foresights of the builders was the 86th floor observation deck, where over a quarter of a billion people have gazed out over the great city and five states towards the horizon, lending itself to a bird's eye view. At the time the building was constructed, most people had never been in an airplane. The Empire State's observation deck was the highest point ever reached by its astonished visitors. The building proved to be revolutionary. Many new construction practices were developed and resolved in the building. The genius of the Starrett brothers essentially created the invention of many prefabricated practices that are still in use today but were unique at the time. The foresight of the building's architects Shreve, Lamb, and Harmon is legendary as exemplified by the American Society of Civil Engineers, which lists the Empire State Building as one of the seven wonders of the modern world. As a stage, it has hosted many of the world's greatest personalities and stars, and has become a star in its own right. How about the top of the Empire State Building? Oh, yes, that's perfect. It's the nearest thing to heaven we have in New York. For over four decades, when many of the world's great skyscrapers were erected, the Empire State Building remained the tallest in the world. And with its location at 34th Street and 5th Avenue, it represents the ultimate icon, the crown jewel of the world's greatest skyline. The building reflects the spirit of a country and stands not only as a symbol for New York, but the undisputed artistic monument of international stature. It rose in only one year and 45 days, and at $41 million came in well under budget. It survived the economic calamity of the Depression and the impact of a World War II bomber. 
It is visible from 80 miles away when standing on land and from well over 100 miles in the distance from an airplane. It is the first thing that a visitor sees when entering the city of New York. It's New York's great lighthouse, featuring a variety of colored lights to represent holidays, events, and memorials the world over. To this day, the Empire State Building remains the number one tourist attraction in New York City. Even while it was rising, and as it does today, it provides the best show in town. Its subtle deco grace, its poetry in glass, steel and stone, its mythic modernism, and its regal presence stands alone as the pinnacle of great buildings. The Empire State Building remains an enduring and beloved symbol secure in its place in the past, present, and the future. The Empire State Building, the one, the only, the world's greatest skyscraper.